what does cpr stand for your options are cardiovascular pulmonary resuscitation cardio pulmonary resuscitation cardiovascular procedure restoration or cardio pulmonary recovery the correct answer is b that is cardio pulmonary resuscitation cpr stands for cardio pulmonary resuscitation it is a life saving technique used in emergencies when someone's heartbeat or breathing has stopped question number 2 which of the following is the primary goal of CPR? Your options are Restarting the heart Restoring breathing Maintaining circulation Or all of the above The correct answer is D that is all of the above CPR aims to restart the heart, restore breathing and maintain circulation to prevent brain damage and other complications. Question number 3. How deep should chest compression be performed during CPR for an adult? Your options are 1 inch 2.5 cm, 2 inches 5 cm, 3 inches 7.5 cm or 4 inches 10 cm. The correct answer is B that is 2 inches 5 cm. Chest compression for adults during CPR should be performed at a depth of approximately 2 inches 5 cm to effectively circulate the blood. Question number 4. During CPR, what is the correct compression to ventilation ratio for adult patients? Your options are 15 ratio 1, 30 ratio 2, 5 ratio 1 or 10 ratio 1. The correct answer is B that is 30 ratio 2. For adult patients, the recommended compression to ventilation ratio during CPR is 30 compression to 2 breaths. Question number 5. Dear friends, welcome back to Dear Competitive Exam YouTube channel. Today, you are attending 50 most repeated and most important question answer session based on CPR that is cardiopulmonary resuscitation. So get ready to challenge yourself and friends if this video is helping you then make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Your support means world to us. So don't miss out. Hit subscribe now and let's keep the journey going together. Question number 5. In which location should chest compression be delivered during CPR? Your options are lower half of the sternum, upper half of the sternum, over the ribs or at the base of the neck. The correct answer is lower half of the sternum. Chest compression should be delivered over the lower half of the sternum, breastbone, during CPR to effectively pump blood. Question number 6. What should you do first if you find an unresponsive person? Your options are check for breathing, call for help, perform chest compressions, or open the airway. The correct answer is B that is call for help. The first step in CPR is to call for emergency medical assistance before initiating any CPR procedures. Question number 7. Which of the following is a sign of effective CPR? Your options are visible chest rise, Cuffing, movement of the limbs or pupillary response. Correct answer is A that is visible chest rise. Visible chest rise indicates that the rescue breaths are inflating the lungs, which is a sign of an effective CPR. Question number 8. 
what is the recommended compression rate for CPR on adults? Your options are 50 to 60 compression per minute, 70 to 80 compressions per minute, 100 to 120 compressions per minute or 130 to 140 compressions per minute. The correct answer is C that is 100 to 120 compressions per minute. The recommended compression rate for adult CPR is between 100 and 120 compressions per minute. Question number 9. What is the purpose of rescue breaths in CPR? Your options are to supply oxygen to the lungs, to expel carbon dioxide from the lungs, to stimulate the heart or to clear the airway obstruction. The correct answer is A that is to supply oxygen to the lungs. Rescue breaths in CPR aim to deliver oxygen to the lungs to support vital functions until normal breathing resumes. Question number 10. When should an AED, automated external defibrillator, be used during CPR? Your options are before initiating chest compressions, after 5 minutes of CPR, as soon as one is available or only if a healthcare professional is present. The correct answer is C that is as soon as one is available. An AED that is known as automated external defibrillator should be used as soon as one is available during CPR to deliver a shock if needed to restore the heart's normal rhythm. Question number 11. Which of the following is a possible complication of performing CPR? Your options are broken ribs, improved blood circulation, increased heart rate or decreased oxygen levels. The correct answer is A that is broken ribs. One possible complication of performing CPR, especially on elderly individuals, is the risk of breaking ribs due to the force applied during chest compressions. Question number 12. What is the recommended hand placement for chest compressions in infants? Your options are lower half of the sternum, center of the chest, just below the armpits, or over the abdomen. The correct answer is B that is center of the chest. For infants, chest compression should be performed by placing the heel of one hand on the center of the chest, just below the nipple line. Question number 13. What is the compression depth recommended for infants during CPR? Your options are 1 inch 2.5 cm, 1.5 inches 4 cm, 2 inches 5 cm, 2.5 inches 6 cm or 2.5 inches that is 6 cm. The correct answer is B that is 1.5 inches 4 cm. The recommended compression depth for infants during CPR is approximately 1.5 inches that is 4 cm. Question number 14. How should rescuers check for responsiveness in infants? Your options are shake the shoulders, tap the feet, call their name loudly or gently flick the earlobe. The correct answer is C that is call their name loudly. When checking for responsiveness in infants, calling their name loudly or tapping the feet is recommended to elicit a response. Question number 15. What is the ratio of compression to ventilation in CPR for infants? Your options are 15 ratio to, 30 ratio to, 5 ratio 1 or 10 ratio 1. The correct answer is A that is 15 ratio 2. The compression to ventilation ratio for CPR in infants is 15 compressions to 2 ventilations.
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन वॉट शुड बी डन इफ अ चोकिंग इन्फेंट बिकम्स अनरिस्पॉन्सिव यू ऑप्शन आर कंटिन्यू बैक ब्लो एंड चेस्ट थ्रस्ट परफॉर्म एबडोमिनल थ्रस्ट स्टार्ट सी पी आर और कॉल इमरजेंसी सर्विसेस द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी डेट इज स्टार्ट सी पी आर If a choking infant becomes unresponsive then CPR should be initiated immediately beginning with chest compressions Question number 17 What should you do before delivering rescue breaths in CPR for an adults Your options are check for a pulse tilt the head back and lift the chin clear the airway with finger sweeps or administer chest compressions the correct answer is b that is tilt the head back and lift the chin if a victim is unresponsive but breathing before delivering rescue breaths in cpr for an adult it is essential to tilt the head back and lift the chin to open the airway allowing for effective ventilations question number 18 What is the correct technique for delivering rescue breaths in CPR for an adult? Your options are: blow gently until the chest rises, blow forcefully into the mouth, blow slowly for ten seconds, blow continuously without pause. The correct answer is A. That is, blow gently until the chest rises. When delivering rescue breaths in CPR for an adult. blow gently into the mouth until you see the chest rise indicating that air has entered the lungs question number 19 what should you do if the chest doesn't rise during rescue breaths in cpr your options are increase the force of breaths check for airway obstruction administer chest compressions or continue with rescue breaths the correct answer is b that is check for airway obstruction if the chest doesn't rise during rescue breaths in cpr it is essential to check for airway obstructions such as foreign objects and clear the airway before continuing question number 20 what is the preferred method for opening the airway in unresponsive person who is breathing normally your options are head tilt chin lift jaw thrust maneuver finger sweep or nasopharyngeal airway insertion the correct answer is a that is head tilt chin lift the head tilt chin lift maneuver is the preferred method for opening airway in an unresponsive person who is breathing normally as it helps to lift the tongue away from the back of the throat question number 21 which of the following is a symptom of adequate circulation during cpr your options are dilated pupils weak of absent pulse pale skin color or warm extremities The correct answer is D that is warm extremities. Warm extremities are a symptom of adequate circulation during CPR indicating that blood is effectively being pumped throughout the body. Question number 22 What should be rescuers do if an adult victim suddenly collapses and is unresponsive? Your options are begin CPR immediately. check for a carotid pulse administer rescue breaths first or perform abdominal thrust the correct answer is a that is begin cpr immediately if an adult victim suddenly collapses and is unresponsive the rescuer should begin cpr immediately starting with the chest compressions question number 23 What is the preferred method for checking for a pulse during CPR? Your options are carotid artery neck, brachial artery arm, radial artery wrist or femoral artery groin. The correct answer is 
A that is carotid artery neck. During CPR, the preferred method for checking for a pulse is the carotid artery or located in the neck as it is easily accessible and provides a reliable indication of circulation. Question number 24. What is the recommended compression depth for children aged 1 to puberty during CPR? Your options are 1 inch that is 2.5 cm, 1.5 inches that is 4 cm, 2 inches that is 5 cm or 2.5 inches that is 6 cm. The correct answer is B that is 1.5 inches that is 4 cm. The recommended compression depth for children aged 1 to puberty during CPR is approximately 1.5 inches that is 4 cm. Question number 25th. When should CPR be stopped during a resuscitation attempt? The options are after 5 minutes of continuous CPR, when an AED is available, when the rescuer becomes fatigue, or when spontaneous circulation and breathing resume. The correct answer is D that is when spontaneous circulation and breathing resume. CPR should be stopped when spontaneous circulation and breathing resume or when advanced medical personnel take over the resuscitation efforts. So dear friends, it is the time to comment your score out of 25 questions. So let us see what is your score out of 25 questions. Please comment your score. And if the video was helpful, then please comment your view on this video. And do support us by liking and subscribing and sharing our channel, our videos. So thank you so much for watching and wish you good luck for your upcoming exams.